Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back. <clears throat> Let me know if you can hear me well and you can see me. Yes. But definitely we will do it today. I hope, at least. At least to uh, to bronze league today, and I'll be happy. Let's see. Let's uh, remember how our AI is performing at this moment. So I'm the red one. He shot me. Yeah, he he shot me. Hopefully, it's just random. He can guess it, but not at Klaganiaste. Stream health. Not sure if the stream uh, the quality is right. Hopefully, my internet connection will be good enough. <clears throat> what are people saying here in the chat? Yeah, I'm just reading through the comments what people are saying. So let's see some of our battles from yesterday and try to figure out um, what's the biggest problem uh, that we can solve and fix our code mm, because we should take it like step by step. Okay, I think um, I was actually thinking I couldn't fall asleep yesterday. <laughs> I was thinking about a pathfinding algorithm because for example, in this situation, I'm the red one. Uh, my bot takes a very wrong turn because he, he goes into a uh, place where there are no, there are little uh, empty um, cells. So he's definitely going into a trap by itself. So in this case, it will be much better if he went like um, to the left because here the map is much bigger. So for with that, I'm losing a lot of points because um, I'm getting stuck and here I'm surfacing. And when you surface, you lose like two, like one, uh, one life. So I think that's going to be the first, um, the first thing that will uh, improve in our code. Uh, I didn't check actually how to better or more optimally like find this uh, this best path. Probably there are like uh, good like optimal algorithms for that, but I think I'll just start with a backtracking algorithm that will just uh, check all uh, directions and see like which part of a map is bigger. And then based on that decide where to go like left, right, south, north and so on. 
Mm. So is the stream on? Everything is all right. I really hope. So let's just uh, set the external editor. Upload from local file. And let's go into our code and see where we left it yesterday. So we have our map here. And probably we should implement this backtracking algorithm inside this map. Uh, so based on one position, it will decide like which direction uh, it's better to go. Uh, it's gonna be tough to debug it. I, I'm pretty sure that I'll not get it right from the first try. But let's uh, let's try. <clears throat> so let's think. Mm. Let's start just by writing it public void. Probably probably it's not gonna be void. It's gonna return like a point or something. Uh, and we say um, get best uh, direction and what what will it expect? Probably it will expect the map, but I'm thinking that it should be a copy of the map, not the map itself, because it will modify it. So, how to create a copy of uh, an array, Java. Array copy. There is this array copy of uh, it's going to be an integer. Um, map copy is a copy of a map. Oh, but our map is uh, bidimensional. What? Int clone. I think the best way is just to take this method and use it in our case. Get copy of map. And we don't need the source because we will use the map for it. Map. map and here map one second just checking mm -hmm. 
this will the map copy will be a bidimensional array as well yeah interesting uh, <laughs> mm. For the backtracking algorithm, let's just implement a new method and we will receive a map and we will receive, I don't know what else, but let's start with this and a position, definitely, and a point position pause it will be enough <clears throat> so hmm I will have to use um, use this method like is safe to move or is on the map there as well. But okay, for the point we can actually say if is uh, on the map is on the map position. Actually, if it's not on the map, <coughs> that means that we just return zero because we are out of bound and this will be like the um, the end position hmm. after that but also we should check if it's safe to move there because if it's not safe to move there we should uh stop the backtracking but is safe to move is working with uh, our actual map that is there not the copy of the map so i'm thinking that we sh actually should create an entire copy of the whole map not only on of this variable hmm. I think I can create it very easily, but just by um, but we will not have mm, man, it's it's complicated. Mm -hmm. Where are we using this method? Yeah, if it's in a lot of places. Can we have an option, optional parameter here? Uh, like map, map equal map? No, in Java it's not possible. Yeah, let's do one. So if the map, the position if the position is empty, that means that it's safe, but we need if it's not empty, only then we can uh we we know that we reach a, den, a dead end and we cannot actually go there so i think these are the two end point the yeah like end condition of our backtracking algorithm um 
then we should from this position okay in our case it's pause 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 and we should backtrack through through them and return the maximum value that was received so int north um, cells like how many cells are there is equal to our backtracking algorithm sending the map position for the position it's north and we'll do the same for all four uh, directions south uh, east and west okay here is south east and west and for each time we will add should we add here one or we will add when we return it let's add it when we return it so we'll return uh, math dot maximum is it something like that yeah between north north cell south cell can i provide more values here oh no then it's gonna be interesting because we we will just wrap this around everything then south then again max max between east and west and for everything we just add one so we have our stopping position we go in all possible directions and we add one um, what else mm. somewhere we should set on this map that we visited it visited this position so for that i think we should set it here so map at we can actually call, call set visited uh, with the um, position And when we are done with it, we should reset it back to, to what it was previously. Um, should we create? No, probably we're just gonna copy this line because in future we might, uh, we might change it is equal to empty back to empty after we've done everything and to be honest we don't even need a copy of a map because we will leave the map in the same state uh, as before uh, just by you uh, but by doing this line because we are setting them back to empty so everything will be the same so we can actually work with the same methods and here as well because we are using we can make the condition in the same if statement so if it's not on the map or is not safe to go there position then we return zero send visited
okay for getting the best direction we will just uh receive Re we'll just gonna receive the um, the score around users position and compare them and just return uh the best direction i think that's the way to go probably can be done better because we are copy pasting here something so we will need the position of a player No, let's just copy this one. And then Hmm, what if we keep um we keep track of a path inside this backtracking algorithm and we will receive not only like how many cells are there but in which direction it is okay we can do that later we just need to know if the algorithm is working so if North cell we will calculate the maximum of everything and max cells is equal to this maximum and then we will check if north cell north cells is equal to this maximum that means that we should go north um get base direction will return a string with a direction in which we have to go so if it's north then we return north uh, and we will do the same for south east west and so on S no this one south cell then we need to go south east we need to go east and west to the west what's the problem here condition west um, okay we can just return it here because we know it's west if it wasn't any of it before so in our submarine move uh move then we will receive we will call that method that we implemented string uh direction uh, is equal to map dot get best direction based on user position right user position is just position and then we don't need all these if statements we'll just gonna check if it's actually uh, safe to go in that direction because we can be we can still be in a dead end so the best direction is also a dead end so in that case we will surface if it's a dead end or we will go to the direction uh, is it safe to move But the direction is north south okay safe to move let's think how to adjust this one you know what we will say if max cells is equal to
is equal to what to what to zero then we just return um, an empty string or what like a minus and here we can check if direction is not minus then we move uh, other case we just surface what do you think will it work of course you believe in me too much you see it doesn't <laughs> So what is the problem? <coughs> Standard output. So what? What happened? Timeout. I did a timeout. Maybe I'll my um maybe my algorithm just ran out of time. That's also possible if I didn't set correctly the, um, the backtracking algorithm. Let's just um, console log here. Position is position to string, but we didn't have uh, the to string implemented here yet, so we will implement it right away. So we'll return uh, x is equal to x. And y is equal to y. So let's just see what's happening there. Okay, we don't need this plus here. So we are in position zero four. Then the backtracking goes to zero three and zero two zero one zero zero and then goes around I'm just curious if some of the positions are repeating. If it's just uh, the algorithm is unoptimal and it takes like a lot of time or I have a dead, dead end. So let's just console log every time the x and y, x is zero and y is free. So we can see if, if we are repeating ourselves. So if position dot get x is equal to zero, right? Uh, and position dot get y is equal to three then we will console log uh, yeah console log we replay in the same conditions and we see oh god Hmm, that's interesting. I think backtracking is not the right uh, option for this solution because there are way too many possibilities to go.
because from each cell you can go in any direction and like imagine like how many possibilities of moving are in this map so probably we should keep track of the cells that we already visited and not to visit them again but that's gonna not gonna be the perfect solution it's gonna be like a fluid field so in some cases it will not return the right answer it will return just how many cells are in that di direction but that might be better than the nothing Or just to check if we already been there. No, my fluid field will not actually work. Well, 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 interesting. I'm getting hot already. Mm -hmm. to try it with a fluid feel. I'm wondering what algorithms are other people using for, for this. So, fluid feeling. So I think it's just counting the number of empty cells. So fluid fill, let's check a look at the fluid fill. Yeah, the idea is that it goes back, like in this situation, it's not gonna return us an optimal solution because it starts moving this way and then it just fluid fills in that way as well so it just returns like how many connected points are there so in most cases uh if our two graphs are connected it's gonna return the same result
So. Put some music. <laughs> Put a music, but uh, I'm thinking. Let's try just remembering like the visited arrays and to go there only once. So we'll have a point uh, visited. So here we will check if visited contains this position. Uh, contains position. Then we will uh, return and not go into there. And here we'll set like visited dot add the point, the position. And we will pass it down to our backtracking. And when we call it, new array list what the same time out Why are timing out? Are you even going into this um, if statement? Yeah, it's going. Probably I have a dead end somewhere, <laughs> like an infinite loop and the backtracking just keep getting cold. Just tell me why. Oh, maybe visit uh, all of these are actual new points and visited contains pause will never be true because we are creating new points and it compares just um, Already visited. So yeah, you see, it never gets called like visited. <clears throat> so private boolean array contains position and here we'll receive an array of positions 
and we'll check if that array contains this position. So we will just loop from the beginning, you guessed it right till the end. Size if array at this position no at no at get all right <laughs> equals to position then we return true otherwise we'll return false and for the point we should implement equals and we two points will be equal if the x and y are the same so return uh, x is equal to object dot get okay here point point equal to casting from an object to a point will it work object and then if it's if x uh, this x is equal to the point get x and y should be equal to point dot get y and then in our map the check will become array contains position and the array will be visited and the position will be the position we can double check it here as well All right, it runs, I guess. Let's, uh, in order to debug a bit, let's just check what values are we getting back. So, here we'll say, North is equal to North South. Then South is equal to South South. And so on for everything. Is equal to South South. And for the last one, west. Now we'll be able to see like based on what condition it takes the decision and it, if it calculates it at least in some way, right? Of x, what? What's this x? Oh, I'm console logging uh, the direction of the cell. So here, north 120, south zero because we cannot go south east zero and west 110 why going here will be 110 okay that's not for us to decide oh look it doesn't go uh north here it doesn't go into that trap 
because we know that if we go north we have only two cells if we go west it we have 118 cells so we choose this to go west okay that's uh interesting it does something not sure what but it doesn't get into traps maybe it's not the optimal way but that's better because I'm not pred I'm not predictable, so enemies will not be able to predict me. I would say let's go try to submit this one. We've been man we managed this one time, so let's try one more time with the boss. Damn it's so smart. Look what puff it took. Like it, it took every inch of that map. No me. <laughs> and I have five lives and he has zero. Hmm. I think I'm gonna be promoted to the next league. Let's see where we are losing to understand maybe as need kalumi as need kalumi interesting Yeah, I think I'm back. Sorry guys, sorry for that. My my internet is not working, lol. Stupid internet. So I'm just still waiting to for the battles to to run. It's currently at 46% and we are 39th in this league. I'm pretty confident that we will uh get promoted. Now we should think already about the next um, the next steps, like what to implement. The bot can actually track my position. If he shoots me one time, he knows my position. So the next step will be either still defensive and to check if we are shot once or at least uh, once or twice, then we know that we know our position and we should silence to try to avoid or to already start implementing some normal shooting and to track the enemy position, I mean to guess it and to, to actually check if we shoot and we hit him then we know where he where he, he, it, his position is so we should keep track of that and keep shooting at that position Why he's surfacing here? That's weird. Just decide. Oh, because he will not be able to um, to get to me. He's pretty smart. Hello, nice job. No, we are not getting promoted. Mm. 
Salut, Terlu, mama lui Alex. Oh, does he know my position? Am I missing something in this game? Yeah, unfortunately, we are still in wood one. So, tracking enemy's position. Probably we should keep track of uh, all the enemy's actions, like where he moves or where he he surface, and based on that information, we should um, like search all possible positions that he is in, and just try to shoot there until we we hit him. Because on, in this case, we will know uh, where he moved and we can draw this, uh, this line in our map. We know that he went from, uh, like from left to right 15, uh, yeah, like a distance of 15, because we can track it. And the only two positions that he can be, it's on this position or on position above. But he cannot be on the position above because moving all this pattern one uh, one cell above will result uh, hitting this uh, this uh, island. So in this situation, we know exactly where our enemy is. We can predict exactly because there is only one way how to put this pattern on on our map. Now we should think about um, interesting way how to how to make it. So let me just um, so we now our player here. There is sonar result. Oh, opponent orders. Opponent orders is a string. So what will these opponent orders contain? So line three opponent orders, a summary of the action separated by a pipe that your opponent uh, has made during its turn. Example, move north, torpedo 3-5. This example indicates that your opponent moved to the north and then fired a torpedo at the cell 3-5. So we actually know where he's shooting. So we can understand, based on the rule that you can shoot only like five cells apart, we can approximate where he is. 
NA is used uh, the first turn of a starting player. This is the only case when your opponent hasn't done anything yet. Okay. Um, so we will say that enemy enemy dot update orders and we will send op opponent orders there so we will implement this uh, update orders in our submarine class and we will receive here a string orders First of all, we will uh, we have to split the string based on the pipe, so we'll have a string. Uh, okay, here orders string, and here orders will be an array of strings, and it's gonna be orders dot split based on pipe, and then trim no. Okay, uh, then we have to loop through each order for orders, no. Okay, for a string order in orders. Uh, order is equal to order dot trim. There is no trim? No, there is no trim. Okay, uh, then let's just uh, console log it, so we see that we actually receive. Enemy orders. But there is also a case when the order string is, I think, an A. Yeah, uh, in the first turn. So if it's an A, we just return. We don't do anything. S style, what? Oh, okay. Okay, that's not the way to write it. Any miss. I don't know, I spelled it wrong. So, it didn't work, it just split every character. So probably our Java string split So, what's the problem? Hello? Why does not work? Empty branch, remove empty branch. No, I want to split based on this one. It's 
Wait on pipe. Okay, have to double escape it. Weird. Move north. Torpedo and then move. Does it have an empty character there? No, I can't. Java string trim. So there is actually a method trim. Why it didn't give it to me? Order dot. Oh yeah. In order to remove a white space is like from the beginning or the end. So we'll have like a clean, um, the clean string. <clears throat> so. Based on these orders, maybe we should keep them like an array of instructions. Yeah, probably in the beginning we will just track his movement without he, the torpedoes. So we will have a private array list. of string and this will uh, will be the moves of the uh, enemy so it's a new array list and if order okay let's uh, make them to lowercase so if order begins starts with if it starts with move then then we will just split based on a uh, space and take the action okay and then string direction is equal to order dot split on space then we take the first one then we trim and that's it not not the first one the second one because the first one will be the word move so then we add it to our moves direction So let's just real quick
uh, console log every moves to be sure that we are correctly adding uh, them to the list. Uh, direction. And this one will go above and we'll say enemy moves. Let's check it. So our enemy is the orange one. In the beginning it doesn't have any moves. Then we know that it went north, 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 north. Yeah. I think we are tracking it, then it goes east. Then based on these moves, we will have a method that will check all the possible uh, positions or of our enemy. Da, 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 da. I think we also should uh, update our map. Not not this map. Yeah, I mean this map. Uh, to set that it's visited by the enemy. Let me think if we need that. No, I think at the moment we don't uh, we don't actually need that. Maybe later on we will uh, we'll add it. <clears throat> but right now So the map public um, array list of points get possible positions based on moves that's pretty descriptive name so we will receive an array list of strings Why are we even using a real list of strings? Every move is one character and we just can use a string with and loop for it. Hmm? What do you think? So moves will be just an array. Then for character, right? No. Okay, we don't need this one at the moment. Uh, moves plus equal to direction. So what's the problem with string? No, it's okay. then our map will not receive an array list but just a list just a uh, string with moves so we will um, we will assume that the enemy start position um, like we'll start from the top and go through each, each cell and we will assume that this this cell was uh, our enemy's initial position we will complete the moves and we will check if that's a possible starting position because if it will collide there's definitely not um not a possible enemy starting position 
And once we have the starting position, we can compute the ending position, meaning like where he is right now. So for that, let's just loop through through both the rows and columns of the map. And then we'll, we will have a function, a boolean function uh, is valid starting position based on moves. Then we'll send like the point position and string moves. What's happening? We didn't return anything yet. Okay. So So for we will loop through all the moves. Moves dot length. We will loop through the moves and we will apply them to the map. So we'll have something like this. We will and we'll check if moves i is equal to north. I think it's char at right? Yeah, char at i. If it's north, then the point will be this one. No, we can do it uh, in a backtracking manner without a for loop, right? Or no? Or we can say that position is equal to this one. To the north. If it's south. Then position is this one. If let's just copy paste it, it's gonna be much easier. Position is equal to new. And in the beginning of a loop, we should check if the position on which uh, he currently stands is a valid position. So if is on the map position, I mean, if it's not on the map, or is safe to move to the position, return false. And here we return true. Is safe to move. Let's see. Is safe to move. I think it takes into account. Okay. Is. Oh, but is safe to move uh, actually calls is on the map, so we don't need two of them. 
we can leave just is safe to move. Hmm. Is safe to move. We'll check only the empty spaces. But actually, our enemy can also walk on my um. Yeah, on my uh, on the cells that I've already visited. So probably we will instead of adjusting it at the moment, we'll say if is on the map. War. So he cannot move on islands. No, if it's equal to island. Then we return false because he cannot walk on violence. Okay, so here get possible position based on the moves. We'll check if is valid starting position new point for x is j for y is i moves then return um, get current position let's keep it into a variable for to work with it easier but no we will not keep it into a variable just because we are using in that function and i think that function will uh, change it moves get current position based on initial position and <laughs> moves very crazy name but it's better to do it like this because after a couple of days i'll have no idea what i was doing there boolean not boolean point point starting position then moves it's gonna be something similar or should we do it in the same i think we can do it in the same like not to do it two times and we will uh, let's say uh, we will return a point and not is valid starting position but uh, yeah let's call it get current position based on initial one this one we will return null because it's not possible to get there and here we'll return pause position and we don't need this if statement i mean we'll need it in a moment point and pause is equal to this one if and pause is not null then we will add it to an array list array list of points new array list points dot add and position and here we are just 
returning points no not like this points points then we also need to keep track in a submarine of the opponent submarine to be able to take the moves from our submarine the moves of the enemy submarine so let's say private mm, yeah private uh, enemy no private submarine enemy and we'll also need a setter for it public set enemy this enemy yeah and when we create them somewhere here me dot set not not here let's do it here me dot set enemy will be the enemy and for the enemy the enemy will be me interesting right then in the submarine okay we have shoot here let's just get the enemy's position um, so array list of positions will be map dot get possible position based on moves and the moves will take from the enemy we just need a getter for the um, get moves get moves so here Let's just go and print all and en possible enemy positions just to debug if it's working. Enemy possible positions. So it's a for each point position in the enemy possible positions. position okay let's uh, let's see is the stream live Daniel is watching so here enemy possible positions okay in the beginning there will be a lot of possible positions but as we move on it should be less and less I was dead before even. So. There are still a lot of uh, positions, I would say. Okay, in this case, we can look at the map and we can understand that there are only two possible positions, is this one and one below, because we can move all this pattern one below. So the possible position should be 8-0 and 8-1, but it's not the case. Yeah, it just prints everything. I'm wondering if my moves are set correctly. So in the map, get current position. No, yeah, moves. Moves are
moves yeah north oh whoa, i think i'm checking here uppercase not lowercase well i think okay south then this is east let me just check if east and then west yeah enemy possible positions nothing because he is surfaced that's why i think when he surfaced i should just reset his possible positions no actually it's always empty only in this case it's too free oh but he he surfaced a couple of times and I'm not resetting it. If we check it here, Minus one, that's not good. I think we should check afterwards, after moving the position. But we should check it before as well. So we'll do it here once and then after we we move a position in order not to receive these minus ones because without them we have only three possible position which y is zero so we are pretty sure that the y is zero or one because we know that we move 14 places upwards so that should be either here or in this uh, in this position. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. That's promising. Okay, let's check here. So, enemy possible position, we see oh, Where is it? In this situation, one, two, three. Why he thinks that he can be on the third position? This one can be moved down only once. So we have how many norms? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why only eleven? We should have more.
north, north, four norths. One, two, three, four. East, north. Yeah, here is good. Yeah. Then east, right. North. Okay, he silenced that that's why our enemy silenced. And we didn't record that one. But okay, that's not a problem. That's too many details. So guys, if you're watching, are you playing coding game? Like how is it going? In what league are you? So, enemy possible positions. Shoot at north. All right. Why are not playing coding games? It's so fun. I'm wondering how um, the distance of four is calculated. Sonar requires no. A torpedo requires when fully charged, a torpedo can fire at an arbitrary water position within a range of four cells. This allows the torpedo puff to contain corners and go around the island, but not through them. The damage of explosion is two. The following image can illustrate the range of torpedo. Okay, it can go like five to this side. Or oh, I mean four. Okay, we can implement a function for that. Uh, private, not public. Public uh, integer dist to another point and we'll return um, math dot abs x minus point dot x plus the absolute value of the y minus point dot y and in submarine we will check if enemy not if if position the distance to the position of the enemy is less than less than or equal than or with four right then we can shoot there shoot at position and we don't need this one 
and we only want to shoot once no, break then after that we will break from out of this loop let's check you can't keep track of my ideas i can't keep track of my ideas <laughs> it's even worse Look, I think I found his position. So here I'm just shooting randomly somewhere. But then I know that he can, he is there. So I'm shooting right at him. However, I'm not following him after I found his position. That's, that's another thing. So who won? Yeah, I won. Oh. Let's see if with this slightly improved code we can get to the next league. Huh. Let's check if we can beat him one more time. I won somehow. <laughs> So here I lost a match, let's check how and why. Oh, I shot him. But I had only one life, and it was in, in my range, and <laughs> I suicide myself. But at least I found his position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm not firing. Oh, I lost his position. He did some sonars and I'm not tracking it. And based on his moves, I think that there is no way, uh, uh, there is no like possible options to go. So I don't have any possible position. That's why I'm not shooting. But that would be easy to fix, to reset the moves when we surface. Hopefully we can uh, pass this league and implement this uh, tomorrow because I'm quite quite tired today. Yeah, let's go. All right. I'm going to be back in a, just a second until these battles are competing.
Okay, I am um, on the 12th place with 46% uh, percent of bottles. I already can open my wine and start drinking. Hey guys, why are so silent today? Nobody's chatting, nobody's writing anything. Is anyone from coding game here? Yeah, I know. When I am getting like stressed and like thinking into the code, I forget about everything. So, are we moving up in the leaderboard? Come on. Hello, Max. Hello. <laughs> Cheers. Hello. So we are in the fourth position. That looks good. Will we manage to be on the first one? Please. Sixteen percent more battles. I think I can check uh, the scores. Twenty six thirty, and the bot has twenty seven. No. Mm. Let's check some battles. So here I'm just shooting somewhere, I don't know where. So how to keep track of uh, silence, when enemy silence, no, when enemy surfaces.
Yeah, yeah, Max. Um, yeah, right now I'm tracking some enemy position. But yeah, I started basically with implementing some uh, very basic buff finding in order not to get into like dead end, dead ends, and it will uh, just compare like uh, how many cells are in each direction and pick the direction with the most cells. So that one we can see. I don't know. If we'll be able to do that, it doesn't seem that there will be any dead ends here. Yeah, and after that, I did some also very basic like uh, opponent tracking, just based on his moves, and based on that, yeah, I'm predicting where he he might be. But I didn't. Uh, I'm not tracking like when he's surfacing. I'm also not tracking. Um, uh when he silenced and things like that so because of that like it mm, it's still buggy but it's a little bit better than yesterday so i'm hoping no no fourth place i'll just resubmit <laughs> hoping that it will perform better this time as every programmer does uh, i'm thinking that actually i can very easily uh reset the map when uh, when my en enemies silence because book if order is so if order starts with surface then we need to go to the map and reset visited cells but probably reset visited cells let's just check reset visited uh, okay we should specify like for which user we are trying to um, we are trying to reset let's just simply add another method like reset uh, enemies visited cells and not bother sending any variables reset enemy visited cells so we'll check if it's visited oh we are not putting the the visited on the map then why Uh, improving pathfinding, selecting the neighbor with the largest area. That's uh, actually my current bot in old Tron challenge. Oh yeah, actually I was also playing this Tron. Tron. I don't remember. I played it like, like one or two years ago. I don't remember. But I don't remember what I was using there. Now for a surface you get the sector he is in, the least you can do is reduce the possible opponent position to that sector. Yeah, 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 actually that's true. Uh, but I'll have to, right now I'm just um, storing the enemy um, moves like in a string with directions like north, south, east and so on. So... Um, Probably I'll have to, to make a better da data structure for it to keep all kind of moves like also moves and surfacing and things like that. Mm. Because the problem right now is when, when the enemy surface, my uh, possible enemy position just uh, returns nothing because it, it still keeps track of uh, previous positions. So I'm not, I'm wondering why, 
why he's doing that because I'm not keeping track of where he was I'm just so for example here we see that and even here enemy possible position is nothing Did he surface before? Or maybe he silenced. When he, yeah, when he silenced my move ends. Okay, yeah. When he silences, he's doing it right here. I lose track of him. Okay. Oh, I'm rank one. Hmm. Will I be able to pass? Come on. How many percent? Sixty percent. I really hope. Because I'll try to to improve. Uh, maybe tomorrow or some other day, but today I'm so tired. Hey Max, uh, in what league are you currently? Are you in silver? There, let's check the leaderboard. Oh, I have 29. Yeah, that's the power of submitting the same code like two times. The first uh, submission was uh, 26 percent, 26 points. Yay! Woo! I'm in bronze. Okay. Let's just check what uh, new rules are in the new league. And then we can call it a day in 25 seconds. Badunts. <laughs> and here we are. In bronze, you can now use mines. There won't be any additional rules. Okay, so these are the la latest rules. So for the mine, mine requires free charge action to load. It can be placed on any cell next to you, north, east, south, west. You can place two own mines on the same cell. However, it's possible to place your own mine on an op opponent mine. It's not possible, it's possible. Okay, I get it. Uh, or the opponent's submarine itself. Mines will only detonate when using the trigger command, not when moving onto them. Triggering a mine will cause an explosion. You can only trigger your own mines. Like for a torpedo, the explosion has a damage of 2 on the location of a mine and 1 damage to nearby cells. You can also damage yourself with a mine. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I think I'm still very far away from, from mines. I still have to to learn my bot to properly shoot <laughs> and walk <laughs> and at least live. Okay. Brief. We lost you. You lost me. No. No, I think you didn't. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Um, thanks everyone who is trying to help me uh, yeah as always stay hydrated uh, write clean code and probably I'll see you tomorrow if I'll not get fired by then <laughs> because I am I should do more important stuff than this <laughs> but this is at least fun so yeah guys take care bye wait where to close the stream yeah.